what is going on guys it is your boy Cesar here brings a video here today bringing guys a photoshop tour and creation on very cool uh twitch panel so basically if you guys know i like to go on these little sprees of just helping out with people's like twitch packages doing some updates and stuff like that so now it's about that time but however before you jump into all those other cooler stuff and i kind of like want to fix this really quick um basically yeah i wanted to show you guys a little panel kind of tutorial because we haven't actually done one of those yet um we have kind of like always skipped over it in a way and kind of just said like hey this doesn't really matter too much but if you kind of think about it it's probably one of the things that matter just as much as your actual stream content it's basically where people would click on and kind of find all of your social medias grow your brand you know it's also where the donate button is so i mean you want this to look good um so anyway with that being said i have three examples here uh this is the first one here and then it's the second one and the third one i the the middle one right here that you see is the one that we're actually doing today's video because it's the most simple also this is hella simple too but this is a little more has a little more elegance to this one here this is kind of just basically showing you guys this like you can cut it off just like very simply like this as well just kind of give very cool little just simple cuts which is pretty dope um i mean if you think about it we can do that i mean over again as well but anyway regardless right so this is the first one that i actually ended up doing this is another example this is not very universal in the sense like you can't really just use this all the time uh, with that being said like i just kind of just did this to show you guys that there is cool stuff that you can do if you kind of just think about it and put your mind to it so i kind of like I, I google like splash um, and I got this little splash and then I penciled it myself to kind of make sure this one here come out a little more further in and then just really cool things you can end up doing if it helps the theme of the actual channel itself. So if the guy's name was like Splash TV or something like that, right, wouldn't this not be cool to have his panels or if it's like fire, you know, what if you have fire name or ice in your name, like do icicles, you know, more sharp kind of edges. It's just one of those things that you can think about and make your panels even that much better and just make the whole entire brand that much cooler right so with that being said as well uh this example here is more or less just something like i want to use right now in today's video because it's the most straightforward it has this really cool little white background uh it's also separated with this little cut here um very different and odd cut it's not actually even i kind of made it so that's you know it's uh closer to the top and then farther wider on the bottom i just thought it looked kind of cool uh with that being said the background is very simple and then with that being said as well this little little i guess little uh we'll call it like a little uh, accent or whatnot uh if it was like a twitter header i just like i said i have multiple things like here by the way just to kind of refer to you just how it would look with multiple panels i didn't make any uh multiple different ones um for the sake of just like time wise uh but yeah just imagine like this is youtube this is twitter this can be donate so this little bar right here can be like a green this can be blue next time you switch out the you know youtube logo for the twitter logo so it's one of those cool little things you can do that's why i want to use this one because it's very universal and it's very nice and it's very pretty um so yeah last one here like i said kind of just cuts things out here just uh, kind of straightforward but just three different you know fairly different styles but also looks super super good no matter what it's, it's just one of those things i want to show you guys all those really cool essentials of how to create your panel so that way you look as best as possible uh, with that being said turn likes on the video because i see it down below and if you guys are wondering where all the other ones are they are they should be up by now i, I promised myself that i would do them uh, i don't know why i forgot but i didn't forget i just didn't upload them i uploaded it on my uh media fire and i just forgot to upload it anyway with that being said uh which mostly be a pack of these really cool little cutouts that i'll make for you guys so just uh different cutouts because you can just cut things out like you know this way you can do it like multiple times and whatnot um so like i just do some little cutouts to make your panels just elevate in that little aspect there so it'd be kind of fun to use if you guys would like to use it anyway uh let's just jump right into the video here today and i'll talk to you guys in a second all right guys so let's go ahead and jump right into the video here today so uh yeah um before i start really quickly i am like super fucking sick so i'm not letting out or showing i'm not trying to show as much as i'm feeling right now i'm feeling absolute trash uh with that being said though uh i guess the first thing you guys would like to use and like to know excuse me would be like the dimensions in a panel so basically if you go to file new inside photoshop i have like a hair like in my face and i can't see it um okay so the, I, I think, I wouldn't say the highest you can use, but the most average you kind of see a lot of the times you can use is with 600 by 400 height. Um, <clears throat> I've never, I've never seen like these numbers like previously in, in like a different, uh, I guess like a, a forums page of Twitch or whatnot, but I remember just seeing this is like the, uh, I, their maximum, but I'm sure you can go higher if you guys really wanted to, but you kind of see panels this size for things like, uh, like my gear setup or my, uh, or a sponsorship of like you know razor or whatnot or whatever sponsorships they have they usually use like this kind of file size and this kind of panel size in order to kind of just you know convey like a really bigger picture to kind of be like hey this is our sponsor hey this is all my gears and one little list that you guys can click on hey this is for my amazon list or whatever so a lot of the times you kind of see this kind of dimension so most of the time if you guys want to do things like that keep it at 600 by 400 is my most you know you know i guess you would say my most uh 
the most used, <laughs> sure. Uh, with that being said as well, you can also crop it. So don't be afraid to press C on your keyboard. And if you say, I don't need all this space, but I would like to just use this big space, just say, hey, I'm gonna move it up a little bit. You know what I mean? And then just be like, hey, this is all I really need. And don't be afraid to do that. Uh, with that being said though, if you go to file new once again, uh, the one that I use the most, the kind of dimensions that I start off with all the time is 600 by 175. So as you can see, 600 width by 175 height, resolution 300, um, RGB color, of course, right? Create. Um, so a lot of the times I feel like you guys are using kind of like the, like around like this kind of feel right here. Like you guys are using very boxy sort of very kind of like just, it's aesthetically boring in my opinion, right? It's kind of boxy. It's very symmetrical. Sure. Um, I just think if it doesn't, especially when you don't have any like cuts or any like initial differences to make it look cool and whatnot, uh, it just, I feel like just 600 by 135 is giving you that really good sleek length. Um, however, I don't all the time use this kind of like ratio of the height. So with that being said, like if you go over here, I'm not using what this is, this is 600 by like maybe like 50 or so, but I always start off by 600 by 175. But like I said before, if I press C on my keyboard for the crop tool, right, this one right here. I just like bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna say, hey, this is kind of like the size that I wanna work with. And now this is how I determine whether or not, uh, or excuse me, whether, what are my panel size is gonna be. So uh, start off with 600 by 175, but then kind of move it with your crop tool to kind of say, hey, this is exactly what I want. And I personally always like to have like those really kind of like just enough height to fit all the, the text you want, as well as, um, you know, the sleekness of the length to kind of just make it look kind of pretty and whatnot, right? Um, so yeah. With that being said as well, if you guys are still confused on how like I made my panels, like you're saying, Sesso, if you upload this, it's not going to be transparent. And I promise you that it will be, right? When you save it as a PNG, not as a, a JPEG, of course, as well. Um, when you save things as a PNG, you know, the transparency does transfer over. So with that being said, like, I'm just going to quickly want to undo this. Just move this one out for a second. Um, what's going to happen here is this is going to actually upload the way this is looking, right? So if you ever find yourself saying, hey, someone has like... Or you can do like characters. You don't have. You don't always have to proceed as like this uh, or process like your dimension size for your panels to be only. You can only work with this. You can also work with you know opacity. Like I'm what I mean by opacity is transparency. By the way. So if I just quickly just turn this off for a second. So this little checkered background is uh, applying that this is transparent. So if for whatever reason like I had like some cool character or whatnot, we'll just quickly pretend like you know this is like a little character that I have here is like holding a sign saying hey subscribe to me. That could be a thing, right? Because all this space here, you want to say, hey, I want to make sure all this is going to be empty. Sure, whatever, right? I just kind of place this image in here when I save it in PNG format, right? So let me just quickly do that for a second. You'll see, not JPEG, PNG24, right? You'll see it'll be transparent. So when you go into your, you know, panels and such, you're going to have this little transparent background. It's going to look really cool and really just dope, right? You don't have to always have basic panels. And I feel like that's something really people got to understand because that's also a part of your Twitch package branding. So you can, you know, make your prices just go up just by doing a little bit more for your panels. Uh, with that being said, though, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop in uh, a nice little texture here from the Align Pack, $5, or excuse me, $6 on the selfie.com slash this HQ store. And we're just gonna do like this for now. And uh, reason why I'm just doing this is because I'm just gonna use the good old, uh, for this example here, multi, excuse me, motion blur. I almost said something else. Don't know what I was gonna say, but whatever. Well, motion blur it, but I'm gonna find a better spot. I would say just like something just simple like this, right? Give me a little more tones of color. And I just wanna make a very, a very simple background. You can do whatever the heck you guys wanted. You can type in like abstract backgrounds, get some really cool abstract backgrounds. You can use your own gradients, you can use solid colors. But for this instance here, I'm just doing this and I'm gonna apply a little bit of a little gradient here. Um, soft light and just make it a little bit more sleeker with the colors, right? And I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, with that being said, now I'm going to go to my uh, old experience pack here. <laughs> it's not really, I don't think it's available on self anymore, but uh, everything pack users still have it. But I use this all the time for like my little social media icons and whatnot. So I'm going to just put that right there for now. I'm also going to go ahead and just type in the words YouTube. And this font is right here, top left, Evo Gura, Evo Gria, whatever. Uh, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> So you always wanna have the YouTube, if this is YouTube, it's YouTube. If it's Twitter, if it's your donate button, just make that the biggest kind of like text for this right here. And then I would always kinda of say like, if you have the room for it, I believe most of the times you do, make a good old subtext here. So I'm gonna use uh, Gotham Medium. I'm gonna type in um, subscribe. Okay, subscribe to my, and then you're gonna have YouTube on the bottom. So I'm gonna just shrink this down. We're gonna make this a little period. We need punctuation. Uh, there we go. Now let's go to make this white. So 
subscribe to my YouTube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the word subscribe the highlight button so you kind of automatically the first colors you're going to see are the red colors, the most, you know, uh, very, very high contrast and or the most vibrant colors you're going to see. Subscribe to YouTube. Just, it's kind of like one of those like enforcing clicking kind of uh, methods with your colors. I'm also going to make uh, you red. So you subscribe or you subscribe YouTube, you know, it could just be like fun on words, but I just like to do it just for aesthetic reasons. But there's also other, you know, marketing reasons as to why you would want to use certain colors and certain words to make them pop out as more or as much as they, you know, would, right? I'm going to make this a little more smaller. And uh, let's see if we do this, right? And I'm also going to, oh, I'm going to add this little uh, pattern over to the background here as well, just to make it look a little cooler. All right, I think that looks pretty dope. So for the left-hand side here on this example over here, right, I kind of just put like a little white panel there. So I'm going to do that same exact thing again. So I'm going to make a new layer, panels. I'm going to use my pen tool, just kind of like ho hover over this little area here. I'm just using this little line slash right here to indicate where my slash is going to be. Then I go around the entire canvas and connect it on the top left side here. Not on this, or not this way, because that would basically mean like we're filling out uh, this shape here, right? We're filling out this shape. Nope, we want to make sure we fill out this shape here. That's why the pen tool is going around this shape here. So when I go ahead and apply, right, a fill, a fill color, where we're just going to use a good old white for now. It doesn't really matter. Right, you're going to see this little white here. So there we go. Now we have that little white box there. And already it's looking very clean. Like, you know, I see a lot of you guys, though, just kind of struggle with how panels can look with just simple, simple direction. I feel like this is why I'm doing it to help you guys out and uh, just give you guys a little more insight of how to, you know, how kind of how it could work. Uh, I'm going to use this here change this to uh, normal here and I have a nice little white kind of like thing it's right here right this is a nice little simple like it's almost like a grayscale blue um or I would say like me offset blue I don't even want I would just call it like a very very like cloud blue um hex code d2d uh, 9 f1 that's both on the left hand side and the right hand side and on the middle side here we have a little more closer toward the white scale and this hex code is e7 e e f f right that's a little nice little white gradient for you guys you can use, right? Just looks really good. It also works in most colors anyway. So with that being said, I think it looks pretty good. Now, make sure you balance. You might say, hey, Sesso, uh, why are you? Well, you didn't know what was in my head, but I'm going to move the subscribe to my YouTube very soon in a second. I'm trying to find where the middle is. That should be the middle there. This should be the middle here. You're going to say to yourself, probably like, you know, Sesso, why aren't you going to put subscribe to my YouTube in the middle here? Um, reasons being is, I mean, if you wanted to make the, maybe like the, the, this shorter here, this might look cool and might look, that might be like what you want to do. This is also one of those little examples. Like I'm saying, you don't always have to use the exact same square and whatnot. Um, but I'm going to say, make sure you guys also, a lot of you guys always used to measure. I used to see this in my streams, like my last stream that I just did, like, uh, what was it? Friday. So two days ago for you guys. Um, yeah, you guys always kind of measure mathematically in the middle. It's not always mathematically. So in this instance here, you have this little white canvas here, which makes its own little border, its own little separation. So that makes the black area right here, this little background area, its own kind of shape. So if you think about it that way, you're going to say to yourself, this is not the middle. This would, this over here would be more of the middle, right? So, uh, you know, quote me if I'm wrong, but you can see how far off it is to the actual aesthetically middle of the panel. So be careful with that kind of stuff because you guys will find yourself in a lot of trouble. Um... <clears throat> However, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, make myself a little, uh, how do you call, nice little shape here. We're not going to cut it like the way we did it before. We're just going to do it nice and even or for as even as we're going to see from our eyeballs and whatnot, right? And we're just going to make this little shape here. The reason why we're going to do this little cut right here again, right? I'm going to make it uneven or excuse me, even, not uneven just because, I don't know, the uneven thing could be a turnoff for a lot of you guys, I feel like. So I'm just going to just do it even for now, right? I don't have to actually make it this big either. Let's go ahead and move this in a little bit. We'll say right about there. We're going to fill this in, not the stroke path, with the uh, fill path here. Fill with any color. It doesn't really matter whatsoever. I'm going to make this red, and I'm also going to turn it off. Um, before I make it red, I'm actually going to kind of like move it to a different color so you can see. Because I'm about to do for a second. We'll just make it bright red. But this is not going to stay here. Um, we're going to say to ourselves again, subscribe to my YouTube. Is this in the middle? And I think we're going to move it over a little more to the right just because this is going to be cut out. So the shape itself also is going to be moving as well. So I'll say that looks pretty good. Uh, secondly here, I'm going to go ahead and maybe just go out, go for more of a uh, look that will give me... I'll do the same thing I did here, but just kind of... I'm just switching up, I'm just switching up little small things right here. So I'm going to do this little bar on this right-hand side here. And we're going to do it on the bottom this time. And we're going to fill this in with the same color as the YouTube color here. And I believe these two are the same color. Right? Let me make sure these are. And they are pretty much, right? Press OK. Fill that in there. And uh, with that being said as well, we're going to also quote this, uh, excuse me, not quote this, uh, color this with a yellow. So this is indicating that, hey, 
before we actually finish, because I'm going to do is I'm going to basically like group everything together, right? Then we cut out this shape. And then I want to put this on this and then make sure I clip mask it. That way it's not leaking onto the empty space that we're going to cut out over here. So that's why I'm doing that. Um, that way here, I'm going to go ahead. We'll do that in a second. We'll finish off that little red bar in a second. So right after this, we're just going to say, is this okay? Is this good? And I'm going to go with like, it is pretty good and I'm fairly decent. I'm fairly happy with it. Um, if you guys ever want to do other things, like I said, you don't always have to just follow this direction. I'm just trying to show you guys an example of an ID you can go with. Like I said, there's you know many more things you can do with something like this, which is really fun and cool. Um, you know, you can just do some little highlights and whatnot. And uh, yeah, for the record, let me just show you guys now how to cut things out. So how I would finalize this kind of thing right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and group everything together. Or you don't have to group, oh, excuse me. I am gonna group everything together to just kind of like do it for whatever. Group everything together. Uh, the background doesn't really matter in this case. Oh, it does matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just group that too. Right, group everything together just so you guys can see what's happening, right? So I didn't group this stuff here together, right? This is our, these, these are afterthought things. We have to put them in after we cut things out and then clip mask it so it doesn't leak onto the actual part that we cut it out. So with that being said, with all this group hand stuff here, we're gonna make a duplicate with control J and then control E to merge it all together. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is, the first thing we're gonna do is you can see that if I try to drag this out, or if I'm dragging it right now, this canvas, you see all this other stuff is still out there. So the, the, the color filter, excuse me, some of the, the little shapes that we did and the pattern overlay, all that stuff is still around the entire canvas. So with that being said, we're going to have to make sure we use the uh, marquee tool here, hover over the entire thing, right click layer via cut. The bottom layer here is going to be that extra like, you know, fat or whatever, right? So I'm going to delete that. So now if I move this again, you can see that there's no extra little stuff going on here, which is really going to be great for when you save things. And, uh, and or you move it into another file. Like if I want to move it into here and be like, hey, I want to make sure I, I want to make a little, um, how do you say, like a presentation, you know what I mean? So with that being said now, I can then cut this out. So I'm gonna take this red uh, this red shape here that we created before. I'm gonna hold control on the actual panel's um, thumbnail. So this little thumbnail here, the layer thumbnail, hold control, select it. It'll give you this little marquee selection here. So then on this layer here, what you can do, is just press delete on your keyboard a couple times. And we just did, that looks pretty good. Uh, I can tell it's not even it's a little more closer on this side, but it doesn't really matter for now uh, So with that being said now I'm gonna add this little yellow shape here So you can see what I said was what I was trying to refer to is this little empty space here is gonna be like basically being You know, it's gonna go over that we don't want it to go over that we want that to be clean a clean edge like kind of empty So I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click clip mask it <clears throat> So now I have this and I can go ahead and do that I want to do before which is kind of add like a little bit of a Little thing to this just like so I'm gonna move it down just a little bit Kind of just let it be there, right? Subscribe to my YouTube. And uh, with that being said, like this is pretty much it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna make sure I click both these layers together, group them for an example if you need to go back to it. So make sure it's like a backup and then Control J and then Control E, right? Control J makes a duplicate of that group that you just made and then Control E merges it all together. So now what I can do is I can go into my little presentation image and whatnot. We'll just make a nice little 1920 by 1080p. Drag it in here and put that bad boy in here. Uh, we'll just choose a color here. We're just going to choose a nice little, uh, I mean, like a gray ish color with like oop, more blue to it just to kind of show it off there. Right. So now you can see it on its own. This is what it's going to look like inside like a nice little area on Twitch. But let's pretend this is like, it's just, this is Twitter or whatever. We'll make it a different color. You know, this is a Twitter one. I'm not going to do that, but, you know, make it, make it pretend it's Twitter. This is like a, a donate. This is like whatever. You know, this is the other one. And then this is the other one. I'm going to make them a little more smaller for you. Right? And then you're going to have that here. That's what it looked like on the bottom of the actual player. We're going to make a quick little, like, thing. Be like, hey, this is the player that's right here. And this is, like, the little th uh, the panels here. You can see how just classy, how easy, and how simple and clean they look. And it looks really, really dope. Very pretty and all that cool stuff. So I would suggest you guys to, like, maybe, like, take this into example here, right? And it's like, you can see how this little cut here kind of just makes it look different. It separates the logo from the actual text. It just makes it look, it's a little bit more effort, but... It's not like it's hard. It's not like it's different. It's not like it's gonna it's gonna add so much time to your actual panels where it's just like, oh, this is gonna be a dragon and whatnot. So with that being said, if you guys are just wondering how I did this here, um, just for the sake of just knowing, sure, why the hell not? I'll show you guys. So I'm just gonna use the same exact thing here. All I ended up doing, which is kind of like making little pen tool marks here. I'm not gonna make them as pretty as I did before because I spent a little bit of time on the the pen tools. But I'll get close here, and make it look like a droplet. Right, I'm just gonna do one more big one here. All right, something like that ended up doing is basically do the same exact thing so i'm going to fill this in with a color whatever right i'm gonna hold control click on the thumbnail i'll hide this layer now again 
press delete on the actual uh the duplicated thumbnail that we created right press delete on a couple times what i ended up doing was without like deselecting it so you can see so the selection is actually still here right you can see it right there right i'm gonna right click select the inverse make a new layer take my brush with my brush make a little bit of red highlights here so it's gonna be selecting everything but what we just did right so that's why we selected the inverse. So I can do this all little, little stuff here. If I, if I need to make a new layer, what I'll do is I'll make a new layer, do this side here, and then say, hey, I'm gonna delete it here, right? So I can make it sure it's as perfect as possible, but I'm not gonna go too far into it. But basically after that, I then group everything together here. And if I just move it out for a second, you can see that it looks pretty dang cool, right? So it's very simple, very quick stuff. So you can do really anything you want to do with your cutout. So I just find I just find it super, super fun, super dope. And I just want to show you guys this stuff because it is kind of important. And naturally, I should have moved my subscribe, my YouTube a little more to the left because this kind of shape makes its own little shape. Like I said before, don't always measure it with your eyes. Make sure you kind of measure it. Excuse me. Don't always measure with like perfect measurements, but measure with your eyes as well. Um, Yeah, I think that's it. I'm, my voice is literally starting to go. I can feel, I can feel just, just, no. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to end the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Hopefully, you guys I gave you some inspiration of what you can do for your panels now. And I would love to just see you guys kind of just elevate them. I see it a lot, a lot, a lot when you guys do your stream packages and you show me on your, like the portfolio reviews. Uh, I just want to give you guys a little more insight of how to do some panels that might look a little more better and that might excel and make your prices go up because of the, the look of them might be so cool. You might have a different idea to how to cut things out. Um, I just find that really just you know, empowering as uh, I guess you can say for the whole stream graphic stuff. So enjoy today's video here today. Like I said, 20 likes on the video equals a see you down below. With that being said, I'm going to dip out. My voice is shot and I can't wait to see how much my voice is going to be gone next week. It's going to be great. Um, love you guys. Check you guys out. Check you guys out. Check out my self I self .com uh, Follow me on Twitter at SysWHQ as well. And uh, just much love, guys. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, excuse me, and enjoy the next week. Uh, with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. So you out. Don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and just stay as productive as possible, guys. Later. Much love. Kisses. All that good stuff. Oh, God.